Ferramontress. Yep. Ferramontress. Ferramontress versus Herrick. So this is the first time. I'm really happy to see Herrick actually competing in some of these things. Uh, you know, online tournaments aren't exactly, you know, if anybody knows me at all, aren't exactly the most reputable uh, things. But to have somebody who's clearly interested in becoming a good player, I mean, nobody becomes an S rank and grinds that much ranked. Uh, with absolutely no interest in understanding how to play. Uh, you know, I appreciate the fact that he's... I feel like this is the first time that I've seen him compete in something like this, so uh, I'm happy to see him. He's a good player. And if, I re if I'm remembering the same person, I think this person um, was there for Soul Calibur 6 Winter Brawl um, pre-release event. Uh, I oh, might, really? I might be getting my players mixed up, but oh. I'm thinking it's the same person. Uh, at the very least, they both have an H in their name. <laughs> uh, okay. There's a uh, lot of H names, though. So, <laughs> it's possible that you might be wrong. That, uh, you might be thinking of Henry Cavill, the guy who's playing Superman. <laughs> but, I don't know how uh, advantage uh, Talon is in this matchup. Uh, you might be thinking of Howard Hessman, the guy who was always like the guest star on a lot of 1980s sitcoms. Howard Hessman, that was exactly what I was thinking of. I thought Yeah, he was Howard Hessman was definitely there for the pre-release Winter Brawl okay. event. Yeah, he was trying to buy some weed. <laughs> so he wasn't right. there for Blue I don't know, I didn't really talk to him. He was trying to buy weed from Soul Calibur players. Here we go! That is a CE. Uh, big advantage for a fair mentress. Um, Here's what the follow was going to be. Either he's just going to just run up and push his advantage, like uh, I'm used to seeing Ferramint just doing. Um, he did a little bit. I like that he just kind of stayed mid-range, just kind of keeping Talon at bay while trying to apply a lot of pressure. Something tells me, and this is just speculation, but I feel like there's a good chance that these guys have played against each other before. Uh, probably in ranked or something like that, because it really seems like Ferramint is more comfortable than I've ever seen him in his entire life. <laughs> Uh, either that, or it's just he, he just knows Talum. Oh, if I remember correctly, this matchup is supposed to be miserable for Talum. I remember yeah. hearing that when I saw Triple G and Omega DR playing at that uh, last chance qualifier thing in Vegas. Uh -huh. And it seemed like Zoss had... Somebody in the chat, please let me know if that ends up... If that has ended up not being the case. But from what I understand, this is actually a really awful matchup for Talum. Like, her Wind Charmer stuff, like, straight lead just doesn't work, and, you know, any of her kind of evasion doesn't work because Zoss's range just covers everything. Sh Shouts to Aris for the hosts. Much Play! appreciated. And, uh, Thank you, Aris. Thank you, Aris. Um, like, he, second time he's hosting me during Calibur. We'll be sure to avoid that puddle. Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey! Let the all right, so a relatively smaller stage. We've definitely seen this stage and the bridge stage more often than any other one. As I always talk about, they definitely seem to be the theme stages of, uh... He ends up getting the wall rather than the ring out, so that's pretty unfortunate. So he ends up, uh, probably taking as much... Okay, so he actually is able to tech out, so... Herrick definitely knows at least some of the basic, uh, kinds of Zaw stuff that you end up seeing. So this is probably gonna kill. Yeah. And that it definitely was, seems like when Herrick gets able to get some sort of wall pressure, that was a big ass uh, host. Something that he finds very well, a lot of success with. That was a real big host. I had twenty five hundred viewers. Thank you, Aris, once again. Yeah, twenty five hundred. That's like uh, one hundred less than twenty six. <laughs> yeah, shouts to the former Soul Calibur two world champion or the host. I mean, technically, he's still the Soul Calibur two world champion, right? Uh, there was a thing between him and Mick. I don't remember uh, <gasps> what that was about, but ooh, prehistoric drama. <laughs> that was back when, like, so like the the top three Soul Calibur two players at that point were Aeris, Mick, and the last pterodactyl to ever live. <laughs> They're not that old, okay? Well, I mean, you know, pterodactyls were were around. <laughs> so don't ask me. I don't know. Yeah, see, so he can't really, like, do any kind of, like, normal canceling. Now, that being said, <laughs> that's gonna be right. Oh, my chest! My the blood. Look at face right before she ate that CE was fantastic. Outfit. So let's see if, uh, if Aramont is able to bring this back, or if he's just gonna wait until he gets another stage. But instead, he's gonna do, like, a, a third life combo. Okay. 
That's, uh, that's actually yeah, cool. Eastbourne. It's yellow yeah. light, but this normally doesn't like, do so that much damage. Yeah, it's oh, good. Okay. okay. He does have to deal with the counter C. Oh, they went C okay. for Soul Charge. Soul Charge wins in that situation, but then. Oh, wow. Clutch stuff from Herrick. That was fantastic, ending. Yeah, that was great from Herrick. Yeah. Like, doesn't play in his, uh. Yeah, just basically just like once after the the soul charge happened, he just kind of just like didn't just like rush straight into it. All right, so we got one and one. I wonder if uh, does Pheromontrus want a smaller stage or a bigger stage? I guess he just doesn't want to be around walls because that tended to be the way that uh, yeah. Herrick was able to run away with the first two rounds. Um, I'd say probably something like uh, well, that's interesting. So. He'd probably be happy with something with ring out. Nah, he wants cool. to keep the stage. That's very interesting to me. I would have thought... But you know what? I kind of thought the same thing with Carbon Clive. So, Faramuntress probably has some sort of an idea as to what Zoss can do to adapt to this uh, much more than I do. Well, he does have about half the stage with their uh, no wall, so that could be... Uh, yeah, I guess, like, on paper, it's not worse for Zoss. It's just, like, just from the sheer experience that we just had from the second game. Nice catch on the GI. Yeah. Alright, just going hard, like, trying to punish Herrick's uh, conservatism uh, with just raw bubbles so that uh, whenever he hits Talum, it ends up doing uh, 14 billion damage. Ah, esports. Ah, thanks so much for subscribing. <laughs> esports. <laughs> yeah. Um, Art, uh, whenever you get a chance, can you mute your oh, uh, sorry. Discord? Apologies. Oh, it's rather than lethal hit. Okay, so he ends up getting... What was that, his first? Yeah, it's just his one curse, uh, which is now gone. So, and it looks like Herrick's getting a little bit impatient now, unfortunately, uh, because I'm seeing a lot more whips. Ooh, it ends up getting the bar away, though. Yeah, he ate it. Okay, so he decides to go with meter here. I'm wondering how he's going to be able to use this, though. Uh, doesn't duck the second hit, but just waits for... Uh, very much just to try and do something afterwards. Ooh, tries to interrupt. Yeah. Talum stance dancing while in soul charge. Solid stuff so far. Okay, kind of crumbling a little bit uh, under the stance pressure. Gets That's the way the cookie man. crumbles. Hey. <laughs> Blah. Hey. <laughs> Good block, but it is a safe low. I do appreciate the fact that um, Herrick is just getting the kind of damage that he can, and then just trying to back away. Uh, he's not getting a little. He's he's trying not to get overloaded. So he, now he's even like dancing away, which is uh you know like he's some sort of wind princess or something. But very much this is dealing with that. But oh, what a he, challenge! He just a little bit getting that counter hit from that four B. But wait, very much is fighting back. Ooh, he's, he's got to worry about a guard crowd. Okay. Oh, he took the CE as well. Why would very much just try to? See that? I feel like that's like that. a, a, yeah, yeah, that a little bit desperate there, but he ends up getting his bonus bar. He still has that guard crush available to him, so it's just a matter of making sure that he doesn't uh, spend everything on just getting the second round as opposed to the last. Uh, ideal situation is um, uh, if you can win this round by either just using the uh, the guard break or at least using a soul charge. Um, using both would probably be. Uh, nice not the greatest thing going the next round, but either way, round wins a round win. Uh, but he's got a couple of resources under his belt to take this away. Yeah, but the problem is that now Herrick also has a full bar as well. So I imagine that we're going to see a soul charge, yeah. Um, but now you're going to have to deal with the curse mix up. So he decides to go immediately for a uh, for a reversal edge counter, gets about half life. And is that going to be it? Oh, no. Soul charge. But he it's has great for mantra. It's splatted. Oh, oh, so spins the guard break. Okay. Spins the curses, but that's only a level oh, one. Oh my god. There were so many opportunities for him to come back, but he just managed to just stay a step ahead of him. That gasp that I just did was not exaggerated at all. That was my legit reaction to the situation. Because <laughs> I looked away for like a split second because I thought, okay, well, that's the round. Uh, but yeah. So, wow, what a comeback here! Took there, a he still uses me. me to right away. So now he has to deal with Zossie. How is he going to be able to handle that? He has to do an entire life bar without... Okay, well, it's not even a matter at all. <laughs> just a great way to, to just kill his approach. Yeah. Killing him for the round and for the match. Good stuff from Fair Munchers. That was a, a good back and forth between two players, but Fair Munchers obviously just coming out on top.